in the hills near the Kentucky-West Virginia border, the Calgon Carbon Corporation makes a black, granular, utterly unremarkable substance that may have already saved your life. This substance is the key component of gas masks, poison antidotes, air purifiers, water filters large and small, and literally hundreds of other products. It's known as activated carbon. Carbon naturally has strong bonding capabilities. In activated carbon, this ability is greatly extended by the addition of microscopic pores. The internal pores give activated carbon tremendous surface area and make it the most adsorbent material known to man. One teaspoon of activated carbon has the surface area of an acre and one gram of activated carbon has the surface area of a uh, football field. With its ability to adsorb dangerous chemicals or undesirable tastes, odors, and colors, activated carbon may be the most useful thing you'll never see. I was trying to think about how many times a day a person might come in contact with activated carbon, and I, I think I got exhausted after I got through like breakfast. When you take a shower, the shampoo and the soaps probably have chemicals in them that have been purified with activated carbon. There are components of the toothpaste that have been purified with activated carbon. To have a cup of coffee, well, if it's decaffeinated coffee, activated carbon has been used in the decaffeination process. You may have purified the water that you're putting with the coffee, and the sweetener that you use has been purified with activated carbon. How does carbon become activated? At the Calgon plant, the world's largest granular activated carbon plant, it begins with crushed granules of bituminous coal, a hard, low ash variety. The coal granules go into a rotating 120-foot baker. The primary purpose of the baker is to take a sized coal particle and to heat it up in a very controlled fashion such that the volatile matter is removed from the coal particle and the total heating process takes the material from ambient temperature to roughly eight to 900 degrees F. The baking process leaves behind pure carbon, which is fed into the activating tower. The 90-foot tower is a kind of complex furnace. Precise inputs of steam and oxygen feed a roaring blaze. The material is heated up to roughly 18 to 1900 degrees F in the presence of steam. What we're looking at is the bottom hearth of the activator. The steam penetrates the carbon particles, burning millions of tiny pores, creating channels that will be used to adsorb undesirable chemicals. The carbon, now officially activated, is cooled, screened, and loaded into containers ranging from 1,000-pound bags to 20-ton tankers. There are dozens of different sized activated carbon products designed specifically for different types of impurities, and whether they're air or waterborne. But the principle is pretty much the same. Methylene blue is one of the colored solutions we use to measure pore size in carbon. So it's a fairly common test on activated charcoal or activated carbon. Okay, so again, you can see the carbon bed stops about here. Methylene blue is above it. So we'll just drain the colored solution through the carbon bed. And as it goes through, the carbon removing the blue colored molecules from the water. Activated carbon's ability to remove color makes it indispensable to food and beverage manufacturers who use it to make beer clear and sugar white as the driven snow. But activated carbon's most important job is absorbing dangerous chemicals from our water supply as it passes through a water treatment plant. And as the water actually goes through a granular bed of carbon, the carbon is pulling out those organic molecules, whether it's molecules that cause taste and odor in the water, or maybe even some potentially harmful molecules that, that are pesticides or herbicides. Since activated carbon does not kill off microorganisms, Treatment facilities use chlorine to sanitize the drinking water supply. Carbon filter technology has trickled down to home water filters, which use activated carbon to remove further impurities and the taste of the chlorine. 